Um, it's easier for me to do video because it's just easier. So when I first start warming up for this, for a compass, or my version of compass, I like to take my knees really wide and then um, using the spine, <clears throat> start imagining like stirring soup. So go back and forth, lean in and back like cat cow. And again, you're using your spine to like sort of stir into the hips. And then start taking circles. Go both ways. You know how that's how yoga gets down, which is why I love it so much. One of the 75 reasons, right? And then the same thing with the legs. Just start, like, squeeze the legs up. Help open up the knees. Okay, cool. Give me a minute. And then, um, just start, I'll, I usually start like playing in a little bit of like pretzel. So I'd start putting just one hand in reach, one hand in reach, you know, and then you start with point the toe, flex the foot, and you just start to start moving it back into a seat. So there's a couple of ways I've seen people sitting in compass and I don't know the correct way. Sometimes my body, sits where my first leg is forward, and sometimes my heel is more into my groin. I think the more open you are in your hips, the more it will show up in your body, but just keep adjusting and opening. And then as you are playing in that adjusting, and again, when you're moving around on the sit bones, you want to be in contact with the floor with your sit bones. So when you're gonna go start opening up the legs, Make sure you're on your sit bones, not rolling around on it, because you just want that balance, the same balance that we do like in boat pose. And then just taking that time and finding the strength on both sides. And then I like to play with, I like to play with, um, don't, I'm gonna scoot you away. Uh, putting my, uh, what is this, shoulder inside of my knee before I even try. So just a little of that on both sides. Just more opening. Everything is super gentle, and, and I do everything like as I'm like waking up in the morning. This is the first time I've done it, so that was that ow, because I just jammed right into that. And then I just start practicing opening and holding and see where I'm at. So sometimes it goes right in, and sometimes it doesn't, you know? So like my one side, I feel like it's easier for me to find. What? But usually after going back and forth a couple, I can sort of get there on both sides too. But it's just, I like to um, just like stir inside of my body and play there. You know, also on the couch, I'm a big fan of couch and soft, like bed for this kind of back bendy play because I use the wall and, um, sorry, I'm adjusting my six bones because I got, I don't want to be in pain. I don't have a, a soft pillow under me, but I, I will like do all sorts of, um, sinking into that squishy couch and pretzeling my legs and opening and closing. Um, I think that's a really easy space to practice getting all those hips opened up. You know what I mean? And even, of course, like Happy Baby, when um, Happy Toddler, you see him? You know, even in this space where you're grounding into your hands, like not just like laying with the feet open, but actually pressing into your fingers and spreading the toes and then opening and closing like, like that, you know? You can even rock a little back and forth, which is delicious and wonderful. Um, but just, I just say practice opening up the hips and doing it easy and gently and just reaching and reaching and reaching. Hope that helps. Bye. Bye.